Hey guys, Jeremy here. So last week tried to put a pretty large battery in an Optera and uh, it didn't turn out so well. It just wasn't, it just was underpowered and uh, you know, it wasn't working. So decided this week, instead of try that again, um, actually do a little bit of, uh, of a test and see what thrust I was putting out with that prop and that motor and that ESC. And then try a couple different prop combinations and see if I couldn't pull a few more amps out of the uh, ESC in the motor uh, to get me in the air. So I'll show you my setup here real quick. All right, in true uh, San Diego fashion, what I've got set up here is a scale taped to the wall. It's gonna give me my thrust numbers. Quite a few assumptions made here, a little bit about that later. Uh, I've got a monitor there, which is gonna tell me my amp and my voltage. Again, we're using that 3S battery. Plenty of room for uh, running some tests here. Got my radio. Got my 10-inch uh, prop on there currently, um, and uh, I'll uh, pull that off and uh, put on a uh, 14 by 9 and a half, as well as the 13 by 7, I believe. Um, I'll put more of the description, more of that uh, down below in the description. So check that out. Um, and yeah, let's get started. Hey guys, I'm back. I uh, got the motor armed outside so I can get GPS. Let's see what I can. Just focused here, so you can see what's happening. So, there you go. So now you can see on the left, got a screen that has my amps, all that good jazz. You can see them in the bottom left hand corner there. See that? Right? Right? There, you can see my amp draw, my current voltage. And up on the top left, over there, right there, you can see the, as soon as I get it lit up a little better. All right, I'm back. So I went outside, got the motor armed with, and I had GPS satellites. It's a little crappy in here, obviously, I'm in a garage, but uh, test is set up. Let's uh, see what we got. that not bouncing. So that was a stock prop at about five and a half amps, maybe six amps. I was doing 1400 grams of thrust. Now, of course, we're making a lot of assumptions there. Number one, the center line of the thrust is with the center line of my skateboard. It's a little bit of a hand-waving argument, but hey, it, uh, it gets the job done for now. And uh, we'll be able to at least compare apples to apples, uh, the different props I'm about to show you. Um, the next one will be a 13 by, not, 13 by seven drop. All right, guys, so I've got this uh, new, much larger prop put on there. It's now we've got a uh, 13 by 7 inch Grobner. And, uh, you know, in comparison, let's go take a look at this. In comparison, I had that guy on there before. You can see it's quite a bit longer and uh, quite a bit wider. So uh, let's uh, check that out and see what we got now.